Um, I'm Giovanni. Um, I run the tech at Mendelian. We do rare disease diagnosis in the UK. Um, but thank you very much for inviting me here. I've learned a lot just making this presentation. I've been researching a bit about how uh, rare disease is handled in Japan, and I'll talk about that a bit at the end and a, bit, a few project proposals if, if you guys are interested. Um, so yeah, uh, what we're working on is uh, working from these very complex cases uh, that have uh, very complex symptoms and uh, proposing gene lists and, and diagnosis and differential diagnoses that would be very, very useful for a, uh, for a clinician or a geneticist, for a, a tertiary clinician or a geneticist. Uh, so for example here, uh, with just cardiac abnormalities, cardiovascular abnormalities and small perspiration, you, you, it's hard to know which disease you should consider. So we created uh, a clinical search which will help uh, clinicians really reason about what they're, what they're thinking. Um, uh, they can enter, enter the clinical features, uh, mention age, age of onset, talk about uh, what they suspect the inheritance model would look like. For example, this patient didn't have any, uh, any relatives that were affected, so it's unlikely for it to be dominant, and, 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 and they can reason through their diagnosis process like that. Um, uh, we do a lot of uh, data integration in internally to do it for this end, to improve this, this diagnosis process. Uh, which it, it involves a lot more integration that happens above uh, what, what is open source at the moment. Um, and um, we spend a lot of our time chasing up clinicians who are very, very busy and making sure that what we're doing is uh, correct and, and writing studies to make sure that it has a, a good effect on uh, genetic diagnosis, the, the downstream genetic diagnosis. Um, so we recently did a study in which we compared uh, how we created uh, prioritized uh, uh, gene panels or virtual gene panels or how we prioritize genes compared to uh, uh, a panel of expert clinicians who, who, who did really well. Like 74% uh, diagnosis rate is really high in the clinic compared to what uh, WGS is doing at the moment, which is between you know 35 and and 50%. Uh, and uh, we learned a lot. Uh, we, we managed to, to recommend complementary genes to the ones that, that are normally recommended. Um, and, uh, and, and we're still improving all the time. Uh, so we hope to, to get as good as a, uh, as, a, as a panel of expert clinicians so that that, that resource can be, a, um, that c can be more democratized. Uh, so yeah, it fits into this model. At, at the moment in, in the UK, we have the 100,000 Genome Project, which is half dedicated to rare disease. Um, and uh, yes, a, a very important part is the, the, the gene panel and variant filtering part, which we hope to, to uh, to improve by, by helping the clinician have an active involvement in that part. Um, this has already been said by Steve. He's done it much better than me. There are a lot of people. It, it, rare disease is actually quite common. Uh, so we, we're going to do some big studies um, on, uh, hopefully, with RD Connect, with some big institutional partners to make sure that our, our thing works, uh, our search works very well. We're going to do some EHL screening studies. And we're also expanding to, to new locales, like hopefully Japan, and in, uh, uh, we've already done some in, in Spain. Um, so what I found is that in Japan, um, uh, nanbyo it, it translates to uh, difficult illness. And they've recently incorporated this idea of a rare illness. And they started this initiative that's quite like Genome England, in which they, they have these expert centers where if, if the, the, the doctor is unable to diagnose you, you get sent to there, and they, and they, and they give you uh, genomic sequencing which we think is a, is a very good way to do it because they have expert clinicians like the ones that we compared Mendelian to. Um, and it, it's, it's a really growing thing. Uh, at, uh, there were, there were 3.4 thousand uh, referred in the, in the, since it was launched in 2015. And a recent study a month ago said that, you know, there are, there are 37,000 that are still undiagnosed that should go through the system. Um, also, the Ministry of Health in Japan are... Uh, are, are, are catching up on, 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 the, on identifying these rare diseases. So recent, mo the most recent uh, disease list has 330, um, whereas in the, in, the, in the UK and in America, we, we, we look at 7,000. So this is, this is planned to grow, and our system should, should adapt for this. So I want to propose projects that uh, link multilingual databases. We do a lot of NLP internally. Uh, 
and with the advancements of multilingual models, uh, we hope to, to do this for Japanese databases as well. Thanks. Let me know if you have any ideas on this stuff and message me on Slack. Great, thank you.